What's going on guys, this is Shusty Bang, back with another video for you. This is day 8, 21 days of Black Ops. Snoof603, bringing a little domination gameplay for you. Uh, first and foremost, you probably notice we do not have an intro anymore. Um, I think Fake Throw had touched upon it at some point, but, you know, the old intro we had was Modern Warfare 2. And we just really haven't taken the time to come up with a new intro yet. Um, we've kind of balanced an idea around or two, but it's been like really vague and we really haven't put too much time into it. Um, by the way, Epic Dolphin died for the win to help capture that other flag, like, right off the bat. That thing actually can be useful. Pardon the sniffles, I have allergies. Um, <clears throat> one of the other things Fake had mentioned, I believe, just kind of like in our announcements area of our uh, YouTube page, was anyone with any experience with, uh, I believe it was Sony After Effects, um, get at us if you want to do some sort of intro for us and kind of show off your skills. We'll credit you with everything. Um, don't hold me to it. I'm positive Fake Thriller said something about it. If not, I'm saying it. Um, if you guys want to, you know, if one of you guys out there has <clears throat> some skills with it and you really want to do something cool, uh, send us a message on YouTube uh, through PlayStation Network. It doesn't matter. Any way you want to get a hold of us, just let us know. Even leave a comment on any of our videos. I constantly check our videos to see what our feedback is and everything. So, even if you leave it there, I will see it. On to the gameplay. Uh, Domination is my new found love for... Um, oh, Christ, what am I thinking? For objective game types. There's a brain part for you. Um... Do Demolition used to be, like, my thing. I loved it. You know, you had A or B. You were defending or you were planting, you know? Uh, it was very cut and dry. This is it. This is what you're doing. Make it happen. Um, but that's kind of where the problem was with it, too. It was also, like, you know, kind of boring uh, after a while because, like, that's all there was to it. It was, like, nothing ever changed. The thing I like about Domination, it's very fast-paced. Like, De Demolition is also very fast-paced. But only to a point. I feel like Domination, if you get two really good teams, it's ridiculously fast-paced. It just keeps going, and things change rapidly. So you've got three different flags. And if at some point you cap all three flags, shit's going to change really quick. You know, you have no idea where the spawns are going to flip. You know, you have no idea where the enemies are going to be coming in. And it makes things really exciting. Um, especially when you get going against a really good team. Uh, it's definitely... Like, I used to hate it. Call of Duty 4... Wouldn't touch it. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I started to like it a little bit more. I was like, okay, you know, I can do this every once in a while. It's good. You know, um, even if you are playing the objective, you can get a you know, shit ton of kills. If you're not playing the objective and you're one of those types, then you can still you know, rack up a fair amount of kills, as uh, I do in this game. And Fake Thriller just completely dominates this game. Um, he'll have highlights coming out at some point in the near future. Um... But, you know, n nevertheless, Domination is where it's at for me all of a sudden. Like, I just had a couple of really good games today, and I was like, holy shit, this is where I need to be. This game's just so good. It's like, I'm racking up a shit ton of kills, but I'm also playing the objective, which is why I play these games. I like to have a point to it. It's not just to go in and, oh, cool, you know, I'm focusing on my KDR, and that's all I care about. I, I want something more. That's what I like about video games, to have something else to work towards other than I'm just going to shoot the shit out of these guys as much as I can non-stop and yay, I win. But there's no fun to that to me. I need something more. I need something with substance. That's why we both love playing objective-based game types. Um, but, you know, kind of with that being said, I will not play this game alone, um, regardless it, it, very, I'll take that back. Very, very rarely will I play this game alone. Um, I don't like playing with randoms because 99% of the time, they don't have a mic. Or if they do, it's just some little 12-year-old prepubescent bastard screaming God knows what about fucking my mom or something. Or fucking your mom. Who knows? It's always about someone's mom. And it's just annoying as fuck. So I don't bother with that shit. I just mute everyone. Um, and it's not fun for me. So, having like a good team, not even a good team, just having someone you can rely on that has a mic with hopefully good quality that actually talks. And I've talked about this before, but I cannot stress just how much more fun this game is when you can play with someone that you can really rely on that's going to tell you, you know, as they're moving across the map, if you guys aren't going to kind of keep in the same area, you know, say if you're working A and C's on the other side and they're working it, they're going to keep up with the live feed. Like, alright, I'm working right side, 
and um, you know, I see one or two enemies, enemies down, capping C, so on and so forth. And the thing I really like about Black Ops now, um, and something that I struggled with in Modern Warfare 2, was if you hit start to look at the map, it's all kind of like in quadrants. You know, you've got like, you know, in quadrant C4 or B2 or, you know, so on and so forth, stuff like that. I love how they broke the map down like that. Um, lately, in Modern Warfare 2, uh, I could not, for the life of me, tell fake thriller what was going on where. Like, I'd be like, oh my god, they're over here! <laughs> and he'd be like, well, where the fuck is over here? And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you, that's... I I'm brain farted, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, and... He would get ridiculously frustrated, and I do not blame him, because that's poor communication on my part. That does nothing to help the team to say, they're over there. Well, this is a big fucking map, dude, where is over there? Um... So, like, if you want to be a better player, that is my biggest tip. You gotta know what you're talking about, you know? You gotta have reference points on the map. With Black Ops, that is so much easier. Just quick pop up the start menu and just get, you know, the coordinate of the map, if you will. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm, there's three enemies camping over in G3, so someone go toss in a grenade. And there's a ton of health, yeah. Um, you know, so on and so forth like that. So, really, if you guys are looking for the one overall tip to play better in objective-based game types, especially in Domination, you need to be communicative. Um, <clears throat> and you need to be descriptive as to who's where and what's going on. Other than that, I mean, that's really it in a nutshell. And then from there, it's just kind of fine-tuning and polishing your gameplay style. Finding weapons that best suit your style, perks, you know, so on and so forth. Um, to talk more specifically about this game, I don't know what the deal is with these guys. I mean, they weren't terribly bad, but this just to me it seems like a classic example, by the way, another Tomac fail, um, of people that are not organized. It seemed like this whole team is nothing but randoms, and they had no idea what anyone was doing. They were all just kind of playing on their own, and they paid for it. I mean, we took complete advantage of a completely unorganized team, and we had a lot of fun. Um, but I mean, I don't know. That's how it goes sometimes. Anyways, that's about it. Game's wrapping up. Uh, I think I go like 33 and 2 or something. It was pretty ridiculous. Uh, it was a lot of fun too. So, that's it. Keep checking back. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See ya.